I'm told we can expect the board to hear his case sometime between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Monday. Now, they'll have a brief discussion about his case before voting on whether or not to move it to stage two, where they would have a more in-depth review. For years, the Jones family and supporters have waited on this moment, the possibility of Julius Jones being set free. We are this close to seeing Julius walk out. Jones was convicted of killing Edmund businessman Paul Howell in 1999, but Jones still maintains his innocence. Since then, his case receiving worldwide attention with more than six million signatures on a petition for his release and a number of celebrities advocating for him like Kim Kardashian, Russell Westbrook, Baker Mayfield, and more. It feels like um, just like God shining a light on his case because for 20, 20 years he hadn't had this much publicity, hadn't had this much support. So it's, it's just been a blessing. Last week, his legal team releasing new evidence they say will supplement his commutation application. His attorney, Dale Bache, tells me last July they received a letter from a prisoner in Arkansas who said he recognized Julius's co-defendant, Christopher Jordan, after watching ABC's 2020 special on Julius's case. Jordan served 15 years in prison for his role in the murder. He says Jordan admitted to him in prison he was the one who killed Paul Howell. And what this shows is that uh, another person uh, has said that Christopher Jordan uh, admitted uh, to, to killing Mr. Howell and that uh, Chris set Julius up. But Oklahoma's Attorney General says all the evidence still points to Jones being the one who killed Paul Howell. Joyce Jones murdered Paul Howell in cold blood in front of his sister and daughters. No celebrity imploration or profusion of misinformation will change that. Oklahoma County District Attorney David Prater also asking for the pardon and parole board to deny Julius's commutation request in a 15-page letter to the board last week. If the application is denied, Julius will receive an execution date, but if they move it to stage two of the commutation process and a recommendation is given by the board, it would then go to the governor who has final say. Paris Jones, KOCO. Five news.